Hello everybody, this is Bscat100 and welcome back to some more Blaze Blue Continuum Shift Extend. In the previous episode, we had completed Lambda's story, and unfortunately it was not the most pleasant of the stories thus far. Uh, in any capacity, I like Lambda, it's just she was a tragic character to the end. But, we're going to sweep that aside and start a new story today. Today, we are going to be starting Lychee's story. So, if you like what you see, leave a like down below, comment if you have anything to say, subscribe to me if you haven't already, click that bell so you're notified of everything that I do when I do it, and share with your friends so they can join in on this adventure. Now let us begin Lychee Failing's story. Erosion. It's the start of a new year. The streets of Orient Town are even more crowded and chaotic than usual with people enjoying the New Year's festivities, for which the, for which the town is famous, and today is especially lively as it's the first day of the festival. Perhaps it's the excitement of the event or the party atmosphere that's causing people to ignore their ailments, but there are a few visitors to Lychee's clinic. Lychee look, herself looks out at the scene below through squinted eyes. I guess this is a good time to take a break. Lychee walks to her office in the back of the clinic and takes a deep breath. Welcome back, Doctor! Oh, thank you, Linwa. Linwa holds up a warm cup of oolong tea, Lychee's favorite. The scent alone is enough to calm her thoughts and put her mind at ease. A small chuckle escapes Lychee's lips. What was that laugh for, Doctor? Was there something funny? No, it's just... I was thinking how the residents of this town never seem to change. That's all. And by that, you mean they're always too loud? No, only that their enthusiasm is something to be cherished. Ugh! Even that perverted old man? Yes, Linwa, even him. And it isn't polite to say things like that about people. Even if it is, Bang. Okay, I'm sorry. That's all right, and thank you, Linwa. The tea was delicious. Don't mention it. I'll be waiting out front, okay? Nothing has changed, huh? The terrorist incident from a few days ago. There are a few. There are a few places in Oregon Town that still bear scars from what happened. Regardless, the people still do what they must, day after day. While they may be the same, that incident has changed me. A little. I don't want to defeat him, only to save him. That's why I need Professor Kokonoe's power. I have no way of contacting her directly, so I guess I'd better go and find Tager. He sticks out like a sore thumb, so I shouldn't have much trouble finding him. Doctor, there's a patient here to see you. Huh? Uh, I'll be right there. Now's not the time to get worked up. Was that the last patient for today? Good work, Doctor. As Lychee puts away her instruments, Linwa hesitantly and almost bashfully approaches her. What's the matter, Linwa? <laughs> Doctor, would you like to go to the festival with me? The festival? You mean the New Year's festival? Um, maybe? Well, let me see. You have been working quite hard as of late. Sure, why not? Let's go out and enjoy ourselves. Yay! I'll go get ready. Okay. Wow. It looks like a lot of preparation went into this. It just occurred to me that Lin Hua has that 
that fang that certain characters have. Okay. Alright. <laughs> and hey, among all the battles, the festival is nice. And the art is fantastic, too. Right? Right? This is the first time you've actually attended, isn't it, Doctor? Yes, you're right. Although you've been going every year, haven't you? Yeah, sort of. I, I was born here. Oh yeah, every year there's a delicious fried noodle stand over there. Let's go! Really? Well, since we're already here, why not? I'll go and get some for both of us. Just wait right here, Doctor. Hey, don't run, it's dangerous. Jeez. Well, standing here is just a little... Uh, oh, I apologize. Uh, it looks like I'm getting in people's way. I should find some place out of the way to sit down. Hmm. Ah, perfect! Lychee walks off to the side of the walkway and over a small... Over to a small wooden bench that is set under a tree. It looks like a popular gathering spot, and there are several other groups of people talking casually among themselves. Hey, did you hear about it? About what? You know, that terrorist incident. Terrorist incident? Although Lychee personally believes that eavesdropping is something no respectable person would do, the topic of conversation immediately catches her attention, and she finds it impossible to stop listening in. Oh yeah, I heard all about it. Something about a huge, magic circle thingy suddenly appearing in the sky. A giant magic circle? Whatever could that be? Something's bothering me. Yeah, something about a, a bunch of vigilantes and elite soldiers gathering in Kagutsuchi to take down the Grim Reaper. Wow, I wonder what kind of people they are. That's right. I was one of those that was after the Grim Reaper, Ragnar the Blood Edge. But to do that, I... The NOL branch? No. Lost Town? Well, let's forget about all that crap and just enjoy the festival. I mean, none of that stuff is any of our business. Let those in charge take care of it. Let's just stop this significant and just convenient conversation for plot relevance and just take care of the festival. You're not going to get any more plot from us. No, you got to do more digging on your own. You're right. No. No, that's not right. Actually, it's not completely wrong, but... This is... I can't remember. It's not in my memories? Memories? I don't know. I don't understand, but... It's not that I remember, I, I know it. Oh, there you are, Doctor. I was looking all over for you. Um, Doctor? Are you okay? What's the matter? Uh, uh oh, Linwa, I, I... Is there something wrong? You look as white as a ghost. Linwa, I'm sorry to be a pain, but I'm not feeling too well. Don't worry about me. I'm more concerned about you. <laughs> huh. Well, usually I like to keep it to four episodes, but we are way too early in this one to be be stopping it. So I guess we'll do the gag ending in one shot. Here we go. Must be in my imagination. I'll stay. I'll just stay here.
Uh, option two, yes. Y yes. <laughs> yes, I want to save. I'm sorry. It was nothing. The doctor, you're white as a ghost. Don't worry about it. Let's just enjoy the festival. Okay. Which one of the stalls do you want to go to, Linwa? Um, that one. Linwa points at one of the stands, the one painted in painted a bright red. On the awning was the odd-sounding phrase "something to do." Something to do? Well, that seems to be rather cryptic. Whoever runs it must be from the Midwest. It sounds interesting, though. <laughs> yes, I suppose it does. Ah! Oh, look, Dr. Lychee! Look at those huge dice! Wow! Those are pretty impressive. Are they for a board game of some kind? Hmm. Tao, is that you? What are you doing here? I'm working here part time, meow. Hey, booby lady, do you want to play a board game with me? Uh, okay. But what kind of game are we talking about? Taokaka reaches up into a small cage that is hanging from the ceiling and takes something out of it. First glance, it appears to be a simple note of some kind. A note? Nope, booby lady! It's actually a butterfly that can only be found in the Kaka village! Meow! It's called the Monarch of Life! You'll see why soon enough! Monarch of Life? That's a really pretty butterfly. It's not just pretty, meow! Watch this! Tao places the butterfly on the desk where it begins to spread its wings. The butterfly's wings continue to expand, eventually becoming a beautifully rendered board game. Oh my! This is the board we'll be using for the game! Now then, attention, festival-going persons! We will be starting a board game of some kind. If you want to play, get your tails over here now! As Tower Kaka calls out, a sudden silence descends upon the festival, and all eyes turn to her stall. Silence seems to stretch for an eternity. Then, as one, a great seething mass of humanity swarms Tower Caucus stands. With an efficiency that is way out of character for her, Tower Caucus quickly picks out those who she deems worthy to participate in the upcoming game. And out of that great unwashed mass of mankind, the following four people are chosen. <laughs> Big guy! Uh, Taker? Yeah, okay. And. And last! Bang! <laughs> Get the fuck off my screen. I'm not scruffy! How many times must I tell you I am not scruffy? What you mistake for scruff is truly, simply my burning passion for the life I have devoted to justice! Why 
must you bring that up every time I see you? That's exactly what makes you scruffy. And you others, why didn't you respond when I called your names? Because you never said our names, you dumb house cat? Meow! Don't sweat the details! Anyway, let's begin the game! Everyone, please gather around the monarch! Le Lychee, Lin Hua, Tawakaka, Ragna, Rachel, Tager, and Bang form a perfect circle with the Monarch of Life in the center. Oh my god, it's the chibi versions. <laughs> That's clever. Uh, good. All right. That seems depressingly normal. Confound it. You said this was a rare board game featuring exotic insects, so I had set my hopes high. Oh yeah, everyone is okay with using just one die, right? Wait, we can use as many as we want? Sure, why not? But once you use a die or dice, you must use them the entire game. Those are the rules, meow! And if you break them... Interesting. You're locked into a number of die once you actually use them. And if we break them? Meow! Something... really bad... will happen to you! Wow, so specific, so words, Tao. You don't have a freaking clue. I suggest we begin with a single die. That seems to be the course of wisdom. So, I guess I'll go first. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh my! Great, Scott! Was it a six? All right, I rolled a six! Yeah. Yes, yes, that's my Miss Lychee, the goddess of good fortune. Get off my fucking screen, Bang! If she can maintain this performance, this little diversion will be over quite soon, yes? Oh, I wouldn't worry about that! Go ahead, booby lady! Move six squares! Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five... Huh? There's something written in the square! Oh, no. Huh? It looks like directions or something. Let me read it. Whoever lands on this square must do something to the person on their right. Oh, that would be me. Bang Shishigami. Fucking punch him. They must kick. Yeah. Kiss? Kick. Kick. Kick the living crap out of him. That's what it says. Oh, thank God. <laughs> what? All right, what? here we what go. Did you just say? For this game, you must perform the actions written in the square you land on, or you can't finish the game. If you don't do what it says, meow. Well, let me take a wild guess. We're basically screwed. That is a very interesting rule. Very well, Miss Lychee. Please do not hold back. Wait, there's more written here. Oh. Huh? It it says that the attacker must use a metal bat. What? <laughs> what? All right. A metal bat? Where the hell are we gonna find something like that? Don't sweat it! The butterflies got it covered! 
huge cloud of powder burst forth from the butterfly's wings. The next instant, a loud thud cut through everyone's chatter. Next to the board lay a gigantic metal bat. My, what a fine bat. What? What the hell's going on here? Let me explain now! The monarch of life is a very special insect. To make sure that every task on the board can be done, it will thoughtfully provide the needed object. Isn't that nice of it? I guess. <laughs> How kind of it to do so. I must confess this silly board game has piqued my interest. Hmm. I have to admit, that is a very nice metal bat. <laughs> Indeed. Now do hurry and complete your task. I should like to move on. Yeah, booby lady! Time waits for no woman! Y yes well but... Remember, booby lady, if you don't do it, something really bad! Letting something terrible happen to Miss Lychee is out of the question. Please, take that bat and hit me as much as you please. Is that an open invitation? No, no, no! She needs to kick the living crap out of you! Meow! Same difference. It matters not. I, Bang Shishigami, will gladly be struck multiple times by your love. I just realized Miss I haven't Lychee. done this story yet. Ugh. Well then, here I go. I apologize for this, Mr. Bang. Who? Ha! Good job, booby lady. Ah! He uh, looks like he's in excruciating pain. Gee, I wonder where that bat oh, connected. It seems he's bleeding as well. Do keep your distance, you'll dirty my clothes. I see. So when it says to kick the living crap out of him, they really mean it. Indeed. We should be careful. Cool. Alright. It's your turn next, scruffy man! M my turn? Well, I am... Oh. In quite a bit of pain, you see. Uh, and there's so much blood. Ow! Sorry, Scruffy Man, but we have to stay in order. Under that ditzy facade, you're actually a devil, aren't you? I have no, no complaints. No, no, you're getting me confused with the big guy. Meow! That's not what I mean, damn it. I... Oh, screw it. Never mind. Mm. Okay, moving on. Get it in gear, Scruffy Man. Everyone is waiting. Oh, okay. Here I go. Ah! One. Ha. <laughs> Such lackluster performance is hardly surprising from someone whose sole purpose is to provide comic relief. Ha! How refreshing to see a man who knows his place. Oh, I appreciate that, Rachel. More than you know. Hold it right there. Are you suggesting that all Bang Shishigami, legendary ninja, is good for his blah, entertaining Blah, 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 blah. Oh, just you wait. Let's see blah, what terrifying blah. task awaits me. You'd best be careful. Huh? What? This... This... Mm. Oh, for Can fuck's I sake! statement of your worth to the story? Fuck's sake, Bang! You're, even your animations take too There's long. There's nothing written there. Too bad, scruffy guy. You lose. Meow! What? Such a pity. 
It would seem you're not even fit to provide comic relief. Perhaps you are simply an unfortunately persistent bug? Leftover unused code, perhaps? Next up, the big guy! Well then. Three, is it? One, two, three. Eh? Hmm. This square doesn't have anything on it either. Again? <laughs> You're right. Tao, what is the meaning of this? You're smart, booby lady. I thought you'd figure it out on your own. Meow. This is a dangerous game. So, many of the squares are blank to prolong the lives of, I mean, to ensure the safety of the players. Oh, so that's how it is. Hmm. I guess the old man was just really unlucky. One moment. Do the squares emblazoned with instructions appear at specified intervals? Yep. They appear every six squares. Now. <laughs> Wow. Th then that means... Meow! Why the glum faces, everyone? Knowing the doctor's luck, she'll be throwing sixes on every turn. Huh? You're probably right. What? Y y you can't be serious! <laughs> Bang! It's just starting to sink in, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. The, the... Th that's not true. Such lies and fame the name of Shishigami. I noticed at the same moment as the rest of you. Uh huh. Meow! Enough of the jibber jabber. Let's get on with the game. Next up, Evil Funny Lady. Hold up a second. The chances of landing on a blank square are really high. This is going to get boring fast. I wouldn't worry about that. Each side has a one in six chance of coming up. That would be true if all things were equal, Linwa. Huh? Yes, keep in mind that the numbers are engraved into the sides of the die. This means that due to the fact that the number six required more of the die to be cut away, the center of balance for the die is not dead center. One, two, three, four, five, six. In other words, we won't know exactly the odds of any one number coming up until we roll it a significant number of times. It seems that we are in the middle of a continuum shift. Ah, uh, you're so it's clever, game. Unexpected. You're so clever. Observe. I shall show you the true meaning of power. One. Come on. Oh, oh is it six? Ah! You rolled a one. I write Guess this what, shit. Scruffy man. Uh, it looks like Scruffy man and Bunny Lady get to wait on the same square. Together. I write meow. this shit. Goodbye. Meow. Are you sure? If you quit now, something really <laughs> bad might happen. Meow. Uh, I feel. I feel for Rachel so, so badly. <laughs> As one who has terrible luck with RNG, even a simple thing as this, I, yeah, it's frustrating. I confess that sounds preferable to continuing this foolishness. At the very least, it will be far more entertaining. Oh, really? Oh, well, it's your funeral, bunny lady. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Now, this something really bad not only happens to you, but to everyone playing the game. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Hold up there, Bunny Leech. That means if you leave, we all get screwed right along with you. Hmm. Whoops. She... She left. That one really must have been like a dagger to her soul. What manner of terrifying ordeal will befall us? 
My finely honed ninja senses do not detect any peculiar changes so far. <laughs> what? What's the matter, old man? Starting to feel your age? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Fucking seriously? The terrible thing is just a fit of laughter. <laughs> the tickling sensation. Oh. It's like it's coming from inside my book. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake, I I don't remember the last time I heard Ragna laugh. That is... <laughs> and considering that laughter is contagious... <laughs> Don't get away, help! I swear I'm not doing this for the sake of everything. This is actually just really funny to me. <laughs> Booby lady, the only way to stop <laughs> this is to finish the <laughs> Oh no. As soon as possible. <laughs> uh what did you send me, Susie? Oh goody. Alrighty. Watch that later. If if we finish, will the tickling sensation Go, go away! <laughs> I, I think <laughs> so. Oh boy! <laughs> it's calmed down a little. It seems to come in waves. Doctor, now's your chance. Hurry and roll the die. Got it. Hold up there. If we use more die, won't that mean we'll be able to get through this faster? Three. Let's use three dice and just get this over. With. Oh, that's the trap, Ragna. A truly brilliant idea, worthy of a ninja. Gee, that's the trap. Three sixes. Got it. And. Mm -mm. Oh, who? Three ones. Three ones. Oh. <laughs> What's this mean? Oh crap. I think I understand. What the hell just happened? I thought the doctor's luck was always in. You... She rolled one six. <laughs> Miss Lychee? Three ones. That's even rarer than snake eyes. I'm afraid no matter how many times I roll, I will only get this hand. So your good luck is actually playing against us right now. And don't forget... We have to use three dice from now on! Wow, that's really good luck you have there, Doctor. You, you were the one that came up with the idea! I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> here, here comes another wave. <laughs> another wave of laughter! <laughs> Stay strong, friends! <laughs> Crap, forget about it. Let's just start throwing the dice like mad. Tal, how many squares are there in total? About 100. Meow! That many? Oh, this game sucks. If you have time to cry like an infant, Ragnar the Blood Edge, then perhaps you should roll the dice. Wait, wait, wait. The okay, order's... I get it, I'm rolling. The order has to stay... Or maybe it doesn't matter. It's... It is said that good fortune will come to the homes of those who smile. And this was how they spent their New Year's festival, enveloped in laughter, however forced. Rachel sits alone in her garden, enjoying a particularly refreshing cup of tea. However, there seems to be something not quite right about her behavior. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. 
That was enjoyable. I actually like that. <laughs> like I said, laughter is contagious, so if any of you got caught up in that laughter, let me know in the comments. Oh, but that's where we're going to end things, because i got to go through that beginning story again. So, in the next episode, we actually get, you know, we actually get through to, or towards the bad ending of Lightyear's story. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.